Nomzamo Winifred Medikizela was born on September 26, 1936 in Bizana, a rural area in the Eastern Cape Province of South Africa. She was the fourth of eight children in a family deeply rooted in the traditions and struggles of the Hosa people. Her father, Columbus Medikizela, was a history teacher and her mother, Gertrude, was a domestic science teacher. Winnie's upbringing in a politically aware family laid the foundation for her later activism. Winnie pursued higher education at the Jan H. Hothmeyer School of Social Work in Johannesburg, where she excelled academically and earned her degree in social work in 1955. She became the first black medical social worker at the Barag Wendell Hospital in Soweto. Her experiences in Johannesburg, witnessing the harsh realities of apartheid, further fueled her determination to fight against the oppressive system. Winnie met Nelson Mandela in 1957, and they married a year later. Their marriage coincided with a period of heightened political activism and state repression. Nelson Mandela was already a key figure in the African National Conference and involved in the struggle against apartheid. Their union was both a personal and political partnership, although they would spend much of their married life apart due to Nelson's imprisonment. Winnie Mandela's activism intensified after Nelson Mandela's imprisonment in 1962. She became a vocal advocate for his release and continued the fight against apartheid despite constant harassment by the state. In 1969, she was arrested under the Suppression of Terrorism Act and spent 18 months in solitary confinement. Her resilience during this period solidified her status as a symbol of resistance. During the 1970s and 1980s, Winnie Mandela emerged as a leading figure in the struggle. She was frequently detained, banned, and placed under house arrest. In 1976, following the Soweto uprising, her home became a refuge for young activists. Her leadership and defiance made her a target for the apartheid regime, but garnered widespread admiration and support from the black community and international apartheid movement. Winnie Mandela's activism was not without controversy. In the late 1980s, she became associated with the Mandela United Football Club, a group of young bodyguards who were implicated in violent activities, including the abduction and execution of a 14-year-old activist. In 1991, Winnie Mandela was convicted of kidnapping and being an accessory to assault. Her six-year prison sentence was reduced to a fine and a suspended sentence on appeal. This period marked a significant decline in her public image, although she remained a prominent figure within the ANC. Despite the controversies, Winnie Mandela continued to play a significant role in South African politics. Following Nelson Mandela's release in 1990 and the subsequent end of apartheid, she was elected as a member of parliament and served as deputy minister of arts, culture, science, and technology in the first post-apartheid government. However, her tenure was short-lived due to disagreements with the ANC leadership and allegations of corruption. Winnie Mandela remained active in politics and community issues until her death on April 2, 2018. She was a staunch advocate for social justice and economic equality, often criticizing the ANC for not doing enough to address the disparities created by apartheid. Winnie Mandela's legacy is complex and multifaceted. She is celebrated as a fearless anti-apartheid activist and a champion of the oppressed. Her resilience and defiance against the apartheid regime inspired countless individuals in South Africa and around the world. However, she is also associated with violent acts and political controversies. Her life story is a testament to the complexities of the struggle for freedom and the personal cost of political activism. Winnie Mandela's contribution to the fight against apartheid remain a crucial part of South African history and her impact on the nation's journey towards democracy is undeniable. Winnie Mandela's life was marked by unwavering commitment to the liberation of South Africa from the clutches of apartheid. Her journey from a rural village in the Eastern Cape to becoming a central figure in the anti-apartheid movement encapsulates the resilience and determination of those who fought against oppression. To the late great Winnie Mandela, we proudly Stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit my website at www.ontheshoulders1.com. There, you can learn more about my OTSOG book series. 
You can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com backslash O-T-S-O-G. You can also hit the super like button under this video.